take a look at this next complex fraction problem. Negative 2 thirds is being divided by negative 8 21st. Before we do anything else, I want to decide whether my answer to this problem is going to be a negative or a positive. Well, if I'm taking a negative number and dividing by a negative number, like signs are going to give me a positive. So my answer is going to be a positive answer. All right, now that we've decided that, I can go ahead and complete step one. Step one says convert both the numerator and denominator to fractions. Well, I look at the numerator, it's already a fraction. I look at the denominator, it's already a fraction. So we didn't really have to do step one. Step two says change out the fraction bar for the other division symbol. So we're going to take this fraction bar out and replace it with the division symbol. And we want to write the numerator first and the denominator second. So the numerator is negative 2 thirds. The denominator is negative 8 21st. Then I'm going to rewrite the problem to prep for the next step. Step three says, use the keep change reciprocal method to change division to multiplication and then multiply. So we are going to use the keep change reciprocal method. So I keep the negative two thirds, that does not change. I do change the division to multiplication and I record the reciprocal of eight over 21, which is 21 over eight. And then what I'm going to do is reduce. And I'm going to need a little bit more room to be able to reduce. So I'm just going to give myself a little room by erasing some of this work. And then I'll pick a different color. Both 8 and 2 can be divided by 2. So I'm going to start with that, dividing each of those by 2. When you reduce diagonally, make sure you're dividing both numbers by the same number. In this case, we divided each of these by two. And then I circle what's left over so it's nice and clear the number that's left over that we're supposed to use. Then I can reduce diagonally this way as well. I can divide 3 and 21 by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. And I reduce first, and now I'm going to multiply. So I multiply the numerators and get 7. I multiply the denominators and get 4. So my answer is either a positive 7 fourths, or think about it, 4 goes into 7 one time. 1 times 4 is 4, and the difference between 7 and 4 is 3. So the answer is a positive 7 fourths, or you could say a positive 1 and 3 fourths if you want to write it as a mixed number. Alternatively, you could also decide that you want to multiply first. We would get 42 in the numerator and 24 in the denominator, and then you could reduce as your second step. I'm going to go ahead and reduce this by dividing each by 2. Half of 42 is 21. Half of 24 is 12. And then I realized that 21 and 12 can both be divided by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. So either way, I'm going to get this 7 fourths as my answer. I can either reduce first and then multiply the numerators and the denominators, or I can multiply the numerators and denominators and then simplify to get that 7 fourths.